Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a stationary haul, part two. If you've seen the first part of my haul, you would have known that on my birthday last year, I saved up a ton of money to shop at some of these stationery stores that I've always wanted to shop at. And I had so much stuff that I split the video into two parts. So if you haven't seen that first part, I'll leave a card up here in the corner, but it's basically split into two because I used the first part of the video to focus on just stationery stores like Notebook Therapy or Stationery Pal and other stores that I had my eye on. But for this particular haul, in part two, I'm focusing on small businesses. So these are Etsy stores or they're their own website or YouTubers that I really admire and I wanted to support. So let's get right into this. If you have your favorite drink, I am drinking a pink drink right now since I am trying not to drink too much coffee even though I drink decaf. Um, but I wanna switch it up so I chose the pink drink from Starbucks. Let me know in the comments what you're drinking below. I love knowing what you guys are snacking on or drinking while you are planning or just journaling or doing chores or whatever it is you guys are doing. Let me know in the comments Below. I'd love to hear it. This first store is from a sticker shop and stationery store in general called Together with K, and I originally purchased from her store before the holidays, but she ran out of this really cute washi tape and I messaged her about it and I've been messaging her about it to a point where when she restocked, she actually messaged me to let me know and was very kind enough to let me shop a little bit early and tested out her store with her. So she made sure that I was able to snag some. So thank you, thank you so much for being really nice and sweet. I paid her back by buying a lot of things. So this is a purchase I made from before the holidays and this is one that I made after the holidays. This one's a little bit bigger because not only did I buy all of her washi tapes, I also purchased some stuff for my sister from her shop. So I'm gonna go through everything all at once, but first let's start with the pre-holiday haul. So you can see that Kelly has super cute sticker designs already. This is the first package that I purchased from her and I'm actually kind of trying to save this tape because I love it so much. I'm going to reuse this in my journal. Um, so I'm trying not to destroy it. Let me know in the comments if you are like this. Um, I was telling her in uh, Instagram that I loved this washi tape so much that I was trying to refrain from destroying it and I'm doing a terrible job, but we will salvage whatever we can get. Okay, we made it without tearing the sticker. Oh, I have scissors. <laughs> what am I doing? You guys, I'm so dumb. I just am too excited. Just gotta make sure I'm not damaging the actual product here. There we go. So everything is packaged in a cute little envelope. And she has another adorable sticker that I'm going to try to salvage. <laughs> Every time I get a package from a store where they put a lot of thought into the stickers and the packaging, I try my best to save and keep everything and reuse them because I know a lot of thought and care goes into it. So I'm going to do my best to not rip this sticker. Oh right, scissors. <laughs> I bet you guys are watching and you're like, the scissors Cam, the scissors. All right, oh, that was loud. Okay, first we have a bunch of freebies. So here is a couple of die cut 
stickers and this is a cute little couch with Christmas tree in the back. I'm gonna definitely keep this for next year's holiday spreads. And we have a little seal ornament and another cute little seal. Oh my goodness, it says seal of approval. I am a sucker for puns. Maybe it's because I'm a mom now, but I love this, so cute. And a free little mini sheet and I love mini sticker sheets. If you've guys seen my other hauls, you would have known that I am obsessed with mini sheets. I purchase a lot of these every time I see them in a store. So if you have a store and you're a store owner and you have mini sheets, let me know in the comments because I will totally splurge on these mini sheets. And what I love about these is that it also comes with these really simple stickers. So that really ties in the whole theme. You can use this entire sheet for a journal entry, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I also got this super cute cute thank you card. This is gonna go on my inspiration wall, so I'm gonna save that over here and I'm gonna put them all up later. And here is a little note. Hello, Cammy, some extra sticker flags for you, including the name tag as promised. Thank you, Kelly. Oh my goodness. So this is actually the name tag I'm gonna use for my sister's birthday gift. I told her that I was shopping for my sister as well, so she gave me a cute little name tag. So here is the name tag, which I'm probably going to use on one of my journals. And here are some extra sticker flakes. And I used to not really like these, but I've grown to love them because they're just so easy to store in your journal and use whenever you want. These are holiday themed and winter themed, so I'm gonna save these for later on in the year. And again, I'm trying to save all these little sticker things for my journal. Okay, moving on to the actual sticker sheets. So I purchased a bunch of minis. This is a mini banded sheet and another mini banded sheet and another mini band-aid sheet. I love that she has a lot of different colors because I have very colorful spreads sometimes. So having colors to kind of match everything would be really nice. There's also some cat donuts. These are super cute. And I also like that she has repeats of the same one. Sometimes I get really bummed out that I only have one of a really cute design and I try to hoard it and save it. So having multiples is great. So these stickers are really what caught my eye. I loved that she had really neutral and floral botanical themed stickers. And I also like the size of this. It's actually very slim. So this is a mini sticker sheet that she has. Uh, for reference, this is a Tombow dual brush pen. It is smaller than a brush pen, but it's also really thin. And I can put this in my traveler's notebook. She has a bunch of those sizes as well. I remember feeling super bummed out that I missed out on the washi tape that I purchased the strips just so that I would feel better. But she also has a super cool pattern that I really loved as well. I might actually do a whole spread in this pattern because it's so pretty. It's very inspirational. And here are more sticker sheets. These are closer to a normal size sticker sheet, so they're about as big as a postcard. And there are a lot of cute little designs here. This one is a tea set, which I will be using soon in a video coming up, so stay tuned. This one is paper, paper clips and binder clips, some cute little jars. Got some mail stickers here, which also is very cute. Some tarot cards and crystals, really cute for a meditation spread or if you have a tarot journal. I once considered doing it because I was learning how to read my own cards, but I just don't have time. I got a Christmas spread for later on in the year some groceries and I think the reason why I chose these is because I sometimes write down grocery lists in my journals so I wanted to have some stickers to decorate that. Some plant sheets because who doesn't love plants? More crystals. I'm also a crystal lover so I totally love that aesthetic. We have some butterflies, embroideries. We have some embroidery stickers here as well. 
more cute lunar witchy type stickers as well. Christmas cookies. And these are some really neutral sticker sheets. Really good for adding just a little bit of design, but I love how simple they are. And I also love her hand lettering. It's just beautiful. A breakfast sticker sheet, because who doesn't love breakfast? I am on the lookout for any gardening sticker sheets as well because I am starting a gardening bullet journal later on in the end of winter and beginning of spring. And finally, a coffee sticker sheet because I'm also hoarding coffee sticker sheets for a secret project that I'm going to announce when I'm ready to announce. And that's it for the first package. I am going to be opening the second package, which is my haul that I decided to do after the holidays when she restocked her washi tape and also some gifts for my sister. Here is part two of that package. Again, this is from after my first purchase when she finally restocked on some washi tape. I also have some gifts here for my sister and she also added some really special gifts because I helped her test the website before she launched. So we're gonna open this up. Everything got a little bit crinkled, but I kind of like that because it just seems more loved. Anyways, I got a cute little thank you note which is going in my journal. I'm going to start with all the washi tape first. As you can see here, there are some really cute floral patterns as well as these, um, I don't even know, these speckled, uh, there's a term for this, I just don't know what it is off the top of my head. Um, some speckled pattern and I got a grid tape color as well as some more florals. You could even see that this is foiled. This is a rose gold foil as well. And I got duplicates, so the dupes are the ones that are going to my sisters. Here are the different colors that I got. And these are the notorious beige washi tape that got me hooked onto the store to begin with. It's actually really funny. I saw this in one of her posts and this actual washi tape is what caught my eye and I followed her account and she has just been super sweet so I highly recommend checking out her shop and buying from her because it's really awesome and I'm not sponsored by any of these at all. I just really like their products and I want to share them with you. I'm actually going to open this one up just so we can see the quality of the washi tape. Since I did few hauls already in my channel, I've noticed that the washi tapes that I don't spend that much money on, the ones that I got a pretty super cheap deal on and that cost only about a dollar, are the ones that are of low quality. So I'm gonna check these out right now live so you guys know my actual honest opinion. The first thing that I'm noticing is that when you lift it up from the roll, it is really easy to pull. Some of the cheaper brands that I've shopped from, the tape just tears in half. Let me see if I could get an example of that. So this one I got from Stationery Pal and they turn out to be really cheap, but you can tell that the quality of the tape is just really poor because every time I try to pull it up, it just starts tearing. So here you can see that if I try to pull from it, no matter what I do, it starts to tear. And if you don't have an even edge on it, I kind of have to make sure that I have a really tight, even grip and I have to pull very carefully. But this is kind of what happens to it if it's a cheaper quality. It's really thin, which I think for the overall look, I don't mind too much because it looks really nice on the paper, but I don't like working with it and it's such a hassle to tear off the roll. So I think it matters how much you spend on washi tape. But for Kelly stickers, they're really nice quality. I can just pull it and there seems to be no real fear of tearing and I can rip them pretty easily just like that. And I'm going to stick this in my notebook right now so we can see what it looks like. This is my Hobonichi Teco or Techo. I am not using it as much as I should be, but I'm just going to test it out here and see how it sticks. 
it stays pretty flat. I've noticed that with this other brand, sometimes it pulls up on the edges as well as other cheaper ones. And I can pull it up off of the planner paper. Yeah, it still comes off. It's a little hard to pull off because the adhesive is quite strong. So if you like to rearrange your washi tape, I recommend being really careful if you're using a really thin paper. Okay, moving on to the stickers and items that I purchased. She also included a really cute paper clip, which I'm actually gonna use in my planner. So thank you, Kelly, for that. These are bookmarks that I got for my sister. She will probably have already seen this video. I don't know if I will be seeing her before I give her the gift. So I got her a couple of bookmarks because she is an avid reader. My sister works as a nurse and she's actually actively working the COVID unit. So she used to visit me at least once a week to help babysit, but now that she's working with COVID patients, she is trying to stay quarantined and away from my baby and me so that we're safe, so I don't get to see her as much anymore. So this one is my sister's order. We we'll might as well go and open her stuff now. <laughs> Um, but basically there is a thank you note, which I'm just gonna leave with my sister because I'm sure she'd love, she'd love that. So here are these freebies and I'm actually gonna keep one for myself because they're so cute. And oh my gosh, I don't think I ordered these. I think these are part of the freebies that she gave. Oh, I don't think I ordered these. Yeah, so I think these are some freebies and they're little Polaroids and they have little plants on them which totally fits my theme. I'm actually gonna try putting some of these in my bullet journal, so I'm gonna put those aside there. I just got some gradient heart stickers and this again is for my sister's birthday gift. I got her the same washi tapes as well. I got her some of the binder clip stuff. She likes pink, so I thought this would be a cute sticker sheet for her. She likes going on brunch with her friends, so maybe when the pandemic's over, she'll be able to use that. She likes to sleep in and stay cozy since she works the graveyard shift. And also I got her some cute little self-care stickers as well. And also she likes coffee. So that was a quick little haul of my sister's gifts. I actually bought her a lot of stuff from some from these sticker shops. These are three things that I got for myself. Again, I just couldn't stay away from her store. Everything that she has pretty much fits my style and I just adore her designs and her artwork. And she's just, again, been super sweet to work with. While I'm cutting these open, I just kind of want to explain why I decided to do a haul just for small businesses. And not only is it because it didn't fit in the first haul, but because it's just one of those things that I felt really compelled to do. I don't have a small business, but if I did have one, I would like that for someone to show as much support and care that I do for these businesses. So that's why I decided to do that. Okay, so these sticker sheets I bought for myself. This is from her relaunch of the beginning of the year. So she added a lot of new stuff and I'm super, super excited to try them out. We're gonna start over here with all the freebies. Again, she has this cute little thank you card, which I just adore. She gave me a couple of freebies, which I really love. I don't think I'm gonna use both of them, so I'm gonna be trying to put some giveaway bundles together for my channel. And I'll include some of these as well, so you guys can also try to enter and win some of those. I got this super cute coffee roaster sticker. It's a glossy die cut and I don't typically buy these, but I really love her work. So I'm gonna try to find a place to put them. Also, I'm very scared of commitment when it comes to putting stickers on things. So if I do put it on something, it's because I really, really like it. Here are a couple of really beautiful, almost washi tape feeling stickers. I think this is actually like washi tape. I don't know the name of this, but it's a really beautiful texture to it and it's very delicate. I'm gonna peel one off just to see how it looks. 
Oh yeah, it's, it is exactly like washi tape. I love the way this looks, so I am definitely gonna be using these. I got another set of these washi tape stickers because I, I'm always afraid that I will like something so much and then they'll be sold out and never made again. So I bought extras. I also got myself some of the cozy stickers that I got my sister, except I also got some uh, duplicates because I, again, I'm so worried about running out and I will use these all the time. So I went ahead and purchased some of the ones that I knew I was going to use. And here are some of her new products. So these I also got for my sister as well. So I'm gonna start with the ones that I got. I wanted some of her mini sheets um, and these are also used for planners. So this is just some floral washi tape strips. These are days of the week in different colors, which will come in handy when I'm quickly trying to set up spreads. I am a new mom, so it's really hard for me to find the time to sit down and do that. And I also got some of her planner sticker sheets as well in different colors. I like to match the colors of my spreads with each other, so this is also going to help. That's why I kind of went crazy and got one of each color here. And for my sister, I got pretty much the same thing, except I got her a couple more different um, washi tape strips that I think she'd like, because she really likes the neutrals and the pinks. And I only got her the neutrals and pinks as well, since I don't think she likes the other colors. But that's it, that is it for the second package of the haul. I know there was just a ton of stuff for Kelly's store, but I will leave everything in the description below. Moving on to the next sticker shop. It is actually later in the evening. My son was kind of a handful today, so I missed out on recording during the day, but I made myself a nice little cup of coffee and we're gonna continue on with the haul just later at night. The next sticker shop is one that you've probably heard of on my channel. This is from Paper Minty Studio. This was a purchase I made during the holidays so again i was splurging for my birthday which is in november and that led right into all of the holiday sales so i'm gonna open up the first package and then i'm gonna open up the second one which is a purchase i made for my sister again so you're gonna see a bunch of stuff but not all of them is for me I am a repeat customer to this shop just because I really love the artwork and the designs that she has. She's also a very wonderful shop owner and answered all my questions every time I have them. And she releases a lot of content regularly. So if you are like me and you like seeing fresh new things because you're inspired by it, I highly suggest checking her store out. And just a reminder, I'm not sponsored or affiliated by any of these people. I just really do like their work and want to show them off. Okay, opening her package, she has got a bunch of freebies right off the bat here. I've got a thank you note, which I always keep. I put these in my journals. The first time I purchased from Paper Minty Studio, she had these super cute tiny sheet freebies and I just adored them because like I said, I love putting them in my passport traveler's notebook. And I think I messaged her immediately after I used them all up and told her that I would be so excited if she came out with sticker sheets that were mini sized and she did. So I am thrilled that she ended up doing that. I think she gave me an extra one of these, which is awesome. <laughs> I think I already have that one too in a mini size. What I love about her artwork is that it feels really handmade. Everything looks like it's been hand painted and hand drawn. So I got a few sticker sheets that were mini sized for my passport traveler's notebook. I got some that were just a regular floral one, some ice cream snacks, a cottagey kitchen one, which I think I have this in a full size, but I wanted one in a mini size. I got this Capture the Night one, which was sort of mystical, lunar themed. 
And I also like the black and the yellow. It's kind of reminding me of a black and gold theme. And I got some more florals. This is more of an indigo and yellow. For full size sheets, I purchased this rose heirloom sticker sheet. I love the neutral colors here. I got a larger version of the Capture the Night one. A homely moments one. I'm starting to hoard a lot of these stay at home sticker sheets because I have been staying at home and I wanted something to add to any journal entries where that may be what I talk about. I also purchased a Harry Potter one, some more floral ones. This is also in the same beige sort of warmer toned colors. A larger version of the floral post sheet, the mini one that I showed earlier. A stargazing sticker sheet. I actually don't know if I ordered this or if this is a freebie. I have to double check, but I love the starry sky round stickers. I love that effect. A celestial blush. So this has a lot of little envelopes and plants and journals, just really easy decoration pieces. I got some more flowers here in a pastel palette and this one called Bubble Dreams, which is a super cute little bubbly sticker sheet. And I am not really sure what I'll use this for. I might use this for pen pals and stuff. This doesn't really fit. Oh, my baby monitor went off. Sorry, let me plug that in real quick. As I was saying, this sticker sheet doesn't really fit my current aesthetic in my notebooks, but I do a lot of little projects like make gifts for people or make thank you cards or birthday cards. So this is just something fun that I wanted to have in my arsenal. Moving on to her second package. I purchased this because she returned to the new year with some new products. So I wanted to support her by being one of the first to do so. Just a reminder, this isn't all for me. Some of the stuff is for my sister. So you're gonna see a few duplicate items. I'm gonna start off first with the new item that I was talking about. So she released some of these beautiful washi tapes. I'm gonna open one of the packages and leave one sealed for my sister. So she has a bunch of different types of styles and what I love about it is that it really matches any of her sticker sheets. So you see she's got some uh, paper airplanes here, some floral here in the green, a bunch of sparkles, uh, more flowers and more flowers, some nighttime ones. Uh, this one is also a moon and some mushrooms, so a little mystical tape there. And this one's got uh, a teacup, some letters, and I think this is on a dark green grid. So this is a really beautiful palette and I love the muted colors. I also purchased this memo pad because it was a freebie, I think, for purchasing this bundle. So I take a lot of notes, especially when I'm editing videos. I like to write down the timestamps for certain things or just notes for me to remember. So that's gonna be right next to me when I edit. Now moving on to the sticker sheets. We have a thank you note here. She says, hello Cami, thank you so much for coming back. She knows I come here often and I love her handwriting, super beautiful. As always, we're gonna start with the freebies here. I have some stars and a cute little mini craft one. I love these ones. I actually use them a lot in my passport traveler's notebook. I used it up, I think, really quickly. So I'm glad I got another one of these. And there are these mini sticker sheets. I don't know if I purchased these or if they're a freebie. They might be a freebie because it's um, two of them. The first thing you see here is a bundle. I purchased this for myself, I think. Um, I have to go through and 
look at them more carefully which one I got for me and which one I got for my sister. But I love having things that match, so I think that's why I got this bundle. And I got the Rose Heirloom sticker sheet again, but this time this is on a clear matte paper. Both my sister and I really love the matte look, and for me personally, I like matte because it doesn't glare when I'm recording videos, and that's really important for me. And I like clear because when you peel it, it's a little bit translucent, but when you put it on your paper, especially if you have an off-white paper, it'll match and look a lot cleaner. So these have been clear. This one is just a matte. I think this one I got from my sister, but it's super pretty, so maybe I'll have to fight her for it. I got her this nude star sheet because I have this one in mini and I like it a lot smaller. And I got her some celestial dots. This celestial blush I got for her, I remember now because it's clear. I think most of the clear ones I got for her. Vintage Harvest, I already have this, so that's definitely from my sister. Jar of Goodness for my sister because I already have these as well, but in a mini size. Drafting Twilight, this one I used in my planner for January, so this is definitely for my sister. And um, Homely Moments, I think I got this for myself, but in not a clear, so this is clear, and that means for my sister. This Patio Living also is clear, so that goes to my sister. And I, gave, I got her a Hogwarts one because she's also a Harry Potter fan. And I knew she would actually like these two sticker sheets, so I got one for her, and we have the same one here, and a birthday one. She actually kind of looks like that, except her hair is much, much longer. Oh, and I have a extra sticker sheet as a thank you. I love shopping from small business owners. It's just really heartwarming to see how much they put care and love and thought into packaging their products and into making their products. So I'm really glad that I was able to support her and her new products. I'm super excited to try these washi tapes. I guess let's give them a quick try right now. All right, so the first test is to see if they come off the roll really easy and I don't have to sit there trying to rip it up carefully. And so far I can really just run my finger through it and it's lifted it up. That's pretty good considering this is the first actual peel. And when you pull back, oh wow, it comes off really easily. So that means that I won't have a hard time peeling it off. It tears very easily as well. And to see the stick, we're just gonna place it in here. Yeah, it sticks really well. And I can actually lift it up a lot easier. So if you make mistakes a lot and need to reposition, these washi tapes lift up a lot easier than the previous one. So if you really don't lift it up all that much and you actually need it to stick down very well, I suggest this one. So I think if you were someone who likes to tape down ephemera or pictures, you might want to opt for this one, but if you just like decorating and stuff. Um, but they're both really strong adhesive, so I mean, they're, they're good either way. That's just my small opinion. Our next small business is this super cute shop that I recently just discovered. The name of the shop is Equino, and I actually don't know if the owner is a male or a female or what they identify as, but they have such a cute design and art style, and I'm really excited to open this up. Now, I found this shop just by browsing Etsy, and I know nothing about them, and I was just instantly enamored by their art style, and their stickers are not the usual type of stickers that I would purchase, but I loved them so much. Um, none of these are for my sister, but obviously if she wants some of them, I should can totally <laughs> steal some. But I bought these purely just for myself. First thing I'm gonna look at here is this thank you card. 
And she says, hello, Cammy. thank you so much for your order. See you again soon. And she did a little drawing here of a bunny. <laughs> and I'm going to put this on my wall. So the sticker sheet size is really small, which is nice. That'll fit in any of my notebooks and possibly my traveler's notebook. It's slim enough. Here is her business card, which is super cute. Art by Aguino. And you can see that this is such a fat stack. Like I pretty much bought out their shop. Oh, and again, since I was buying this during the holidays, The freebie is also holiday themed, so you can see this cute little corgi here and some penguins playing in the snow. So these are mostly character sticker sheets. These are the animals that they draw and they're doing a bunch of different things. I got this bunny and this bunny is doing quite a bit of things here. And I also have a bumblebee. A penguin. This is more holiday Christmas themed, but I can totally save this for later in the year. A squirrel that's having a bunch of things to eat and looks like raking leaves, so this is more autumn themed. And the paper is actually super thick. Like, this is one sheet and it feels really high quality. I'm gonna pull back one of the stickers just to see. And yeah, it pulls back really easily, but I don't know why it feels so thick. This is a trash panda, also known as a raccoon, and you see that they are digging in trash. This is gonna be really fun to use for any trash day entries. We have a kitty cat here who's doing kitty cat things, eating and watching the water, oh, drinking from the water faucet, and doing a workout and sleeping. And here we have some hamsters, I think. This is a hamster or a chipmunk who is just completely pigging out. I love that <laughs> the hamster is also baking down here. That is super cute. You see the hamster's making a couple different things. And this is um, No Face from Spirited Away. I don't really like this character because it scares me, but this version of him is not so bad. Here are some seals that are doing some seal things. We have different types of sports activities. And the bunny is back, but with uh, studying and test taking, I might give this to my sister since she does more studying and tests than I do. We have another penguin here for the new year, which I will definitely be using next year, even though this is 2021. I opened this way too late, you guys. I waited too long to do this video. And we have a little eggy guy and I love eggs. Eggs are probably my favorite thing. If I had to give up meat, I would totally be okay if I can just eat eggs. And we have some weather stickers, which I purchased because I wanted to try tracking the weather at some point in some of my notebooks. So I think I got one of each of the weather sheets. And that is it. I'm actually super bummed out I didn't buy duplicates because I can see myself going through these really, really fast. But anyways, that was her shop. Her artwork is so beautiful and the stickers are really high quality. I am gonna actually zoom in a little bit more so you can see. They're just so adorable. Her art is just perfect. Anyway, check her out. I will leave a link to her shop down below. And just a reminder, I am not sponsored or affiliated by any of these people. I just really, really like their products. Our next little shop here is from Bucket of Stickers. And I actually can't remember what kind of stickers there are in here. So this is gonna be a surprise for the both of us. Her hand lettering is so pretty. Oh, how adorable. All right, so right off the bat, we have some freebies and they are winter themed. These sticker flakes look like it's a, uh, we have a little Thanksgiving one and this is a really smooth but matte type paper. I don't really know what that is. We have some candy canes. We have a penguin, another candy cane, and 
a Christmas cookie. Here we have a little thank you card from Bucket of Stickers, and there is a little bit of personalization here. Oh, there's two of them, Clara and Kristen. Adorable. Here's a receipt, and it's handwritten, which is awesome. Their handwriting is so cute. So I got a ton of stuff. So we have some boba and some washi tape stickers, which match this little eggy breakfast sheet here. I have a coffee and more breakfast things. Lots of tasty treats. More little Asian street foods. And this one is a plant sticker sheet. Oh, and the size of the sticker sheet's a lot larger than the other one, so this will fit in an A5 notebook and it might be a little too wide for a traveler's notebook. I'm gonna pull one up for reference. And it's just uh, big enough, so it might fit depending on what else you have in there. So if it doesn't fit, it might get a little bit bent from your elastic, but so far I think it'll be okay. I have more flowers and gardening stickers. A Christmas one. This is a cute little picnic sheet. This one's called Sugar Bakery, and there's a bunch of cute little bakery items. This is a green sheet, and you know me, I love color coordinating. A pink sheet, a yellow sheet, and more little washi tapes. And this one is a sweet boba theme, and this one is a spring day theme. And another Christmas sticker sheet. And that is all the stickers I got from Bucket of Stickers. I remember now loving the art so much and I also really liked that it was on a bright white paper because one of my notebooks is on bright white so I didn't have to spend any extra money making it a clear type purchase and I'm actually not sure if they even offer that. But yeah, I really like the cartoony type look and this will actually go perfect for one of my planners that I really want to use, so I'm glad that I got it. We're now moving into the final part of the video and these last few packages are from other YouTubers that I watch on YouTube. I wanted to support them and just show them some love because I watch their videos and I really love their content as well as their work. So I'm gonna go through them and talk a little bit about each of their YouTube channels and what you can expect and hopefully you'll check them out for yourself. Starting with this first package, this is from Catnip Illustrations. I've actually opened this already just to make sure that everything came in because she is in the UK, so I wanted to make sure everything that I was expecting to come in came in. And I bought this a long time ago, as you can see with the wrapping. There is a cute little card here that I'm also going to hang up on my wall. The first item we have here is actually an oops pin. There's something wrong with this, and maybe it's because it's not quite in the center, but I think it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with this little guy, so I'm really happy that I was able to get this at a cheaper price. It's just this cute little pineapple guy, and I love him already. The next thing I got is a memo pad. Again, I like to take notes when I'm editing, and I have that smaller one from Paper Minty Studio, but this is a longer one in case I wanted to quickly write down my talking points for a voiceover or something. I didn't get very many sticker sheets because there wasn't really anything that I was looking for that I didn't already purchase. Also, I pretty much wanted to wait until there was a bigger haul ready for catnip to go crazy. There was just only a few items that she had in stock at the time that I purchased these items that I really wanted to get. So I'm hoping that within the next month or so for the new year, she stocks up on some more sticker sheets because I really like her artwork, but I wanted to make a larger purchase, especially if I'm getting something from the UK. But anyways, 
This is a Facebook sticker sheet. I wanted to try using stickers to motivate me to post more on social media. I am just terrible at it. I've put all my focus into YouTube and sometimes if I can, I post on Instagram, but I really wanna try posting on Facebook. And then I got a YouTube, uh, oh no, this is the Instagram one. <laughs> I got an Instagram one and I'm also trying to watch my weight now that I've had my son. I need to start getting back into shape and start working out more. So I got these stickers to help track that in my planner. And of course, a YouTube sticker sheet. Um, this is actually the one that really caught my eye and inspired the rest of the purchases, but I loved her art style and really wanted to try out her sticker sheets. They are much smaller, so this would really fit in a passport size notebook. So you won't have any trouble fitting it in there unless your notebook is a little bit chunky like mine. So you're gonna have to probably stick it in the very back so that it doesn't get bent. But that is it for this purchase. We're getting it a little bit on the smaller end, but I promise that these people are really worth it. So if you don't know anything about Catnip Illustrations, she is a small business owner and she designs her own illustrations and she makes everything from mouse pads to sticker sheets and she's got a really adorable bubbly personality. I love watching her YouTube videos and I had subscribed to her when she was about at 3,000 subs and now she's well over 100,000. And I am just super inspired by her growth and I love her artwork. I mean, look at, look how cute, look how cute these guys are. Oh, and another thing is she's really invested in her characters and you kind of see the evolution of each character she becomes attached to and they kind of have their own little backstory. And in her latest studio that she was able to move into, she's planning to do little character worlds, which I think is so awesome. So I don't know if you're ever gonna watch this catnip. I'm a huge fan and I'm so excited to see what you do. This YouTuber has a online store named We Are Nice Humans and I am a repeat customer here. This is actually someone that I really look up to in not just the YouTube space but as a artist and just a person in general. She's just really great and her name is Franard. I am just super inspired by her. I've been following her for a while now and I can't even remember how long but she was already kind of big when I found her and her personality is just so quirky and fun and I love that she is not a native English speaker because it just shows how much she's grown and her art style is just so cute and unique I already have one of these I think I have like I think this is my third purchase so I have so many of these but her art style is so super cute and unique and I love it. You can tell what her personality is just by looking at these stickers. She's really funny and I am just so enamored by her. This is my second time purchasing these memo pads. Actually, these aren't memo pads. This is a calendar pad here. I'm gonna take them out of the plastic. I believe she mentioned that these are biodegradable. This is her packaging material, and so this can be put into a compost bin. So I'm gonna actually try composting sometime this year, and I'll keep this for that reason. All right, the first thing is this giant calendar pad. It's actually really large size. It's a little bit longer than my traveler's notebook and almost as tall. So I really loved having this when I didn't have my whiteboard calendars that I use on my wall here in my studio. It's just a really nice way to kind of jot down what you want your month to look like. And I take this and I make different versions of the month if I wanted to test it out. And it's a lot easier than writing something in and crossing it out and moving it around. So I loved having this pad and I'm about halfway through the other one that I have now, which is just over there. And I also have this 
weekly pl planner that she made and I wanted this because I am trying to organize and prioritize my weeks, especially for the month of February. Prioritization is a really big focus for me this month and so I got another one of these because I'm also almost out as well. I love using these pads and I wanted to get extra ones just in case I run out and she stops making them but I really hope you don't Fran. This is one of my favorite things to use when I'm planning and I don't show it too much because it has a lot of scribbles and things crossed out but this is my free space, my safe space where I can just plan whatever I want and then transfer it into my notebook. And the final things I purchased were some sticker sheets. Again, her art style is so cute and quirky and unique just like she is and her personality really shows through. Her art style has even changed over the years and she even talks a little bit about that, how she used to emulate an art style that really wasn't hers. And over time, she was able to find and develop that by really focusing and drilling into art studies and practicing things that she was afraid of drawing. So I'm really inspired by her because I feel like I'm in the same boat. My art style is mimicking an art style that I used to have or someone else that I look up to, primarily comic book artists that I really admire. So I'm hoping that maybe this year I can be just as brave as she is and decide to change the way that I view my art and also the way that I do it. So I got some of her sticker sheets here because I wanted to start filling out my Hobonichi and these are perfect Hobonichi style stickers, I think. And that's it for the Nice Humans haul and also the Frannerd YouTuber. And this last package is from a YouTuber that I really, really look up to. If you like my videos and my channel, you have to check out Serica Studios if you haven't already. She is someone that I find super inspiring and I watched her videos a long time ago and I remember thinking that everything about her videos I just loved. I loved her voice, I loved her style and her aesthetic, and I was just super inspired by it. And I think I found her when she was pregnant with her son, and she was in the later stages of her pregnancy, and I was just starting mine. So it was just really special for me to have been watching her for my entire pregnancy and wishing and hoping that I could have a YouTube channel someday, and wondering how am I going to balance all of that, my full-time job, a YouTube channel, and also being a mom, and watching her just completely handle it and do it really, really well has just been inspiring for me. But anyways, that's enough gushing. I'm going to open this package because I've actually been dying to use her stickers. What I love about Serica's work is that she does a lot of collaging and you can tell just by the way that her thank you note is laid out. She's also a very, very talented artist as well. So she kind of does everything. <laughs> but um, one of the main reasons why I love her products is because she primarily uses a traveler's notebook as well. And so her stickers fit inside of a traveler's notebook and that is super important for me because I'm trying to make my traveler's notebook my main notebook for the year. Right off the bat here, I see a beautiful business card. She's also a really talented calligraphy artist and I, I'm just enamored by her. I just think she's so freaking cool. <laughs> um, and this is her business card, also super cute. I purchased these vintage fruit stickers because this is kind of the theme that I'm going for, a very garden and floral theme. And here are the stickers that I purchased. So this is one of her illustrations of a fox that she drew and this is also on her YouTube channel as well. What's really funny about this is I started doing a drawing challenge which uh, I guess I'll show you. <laughs> 
I wanted to start drawing more and I had a mini sketchbook so I was just going down the list and don't mind my drawings, they're not that great, of animals and I was just looking up things that I could draw um, and I, I, I started getting really messy because I start drawing in, I think it was like, I only had 10 or 15 minutes to draw. But I ended up drawing, I think, the same fox that she found on Google image search, but obviously hers is way better than mine. But I remember watching her draw this, and as I was drawing my fox, I was like, I've seen this before. Now I remember where I've seen it. Our paths are just crossing, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, she has these cute, tiny little sticker sheets and her theme is really vintage aesthetic. So if you like the, the vintage, old vin Victorian look, then this is the sticker shop for you. And again, I am a sucker for mini sheets. I just love having these in my passport traveler's notebook. I got some vintage binder clips in a clear, so if I wanted to put this over any pictures or images, you wouldn't have to worry about not being able to see through them. And I got some of her winter foliage, which I guess we're technically in, still in winter since it's February. I got it in a clear as well. I got some of her winter blooms. I really like the color of the pink and the purple. This would probably be really good for a Mother's Day themed spread. And I got some ticket stubs as well, which I already have a bunch of these in a scrapbooky ephemera junk journal type material, but I love being able to just stick this into my traveler's notebook. I also got some vintage labels on the craft paper because I'm also a sucker for craft paper. And whoa, this is actually a super thick quality craft paper, so that's really nice. I got some newspaper dots, which is a really nice touch to add onto your spreads. I actually have something like that in my traveler's notebook. I decided to write, I have a washi tape that does something like that, but it's nice to have a smaller version of it. And here we have some more newspaper type stickers, and this is in a washi format. I love that you can, already have something pre-cut. I feel like I always try to get this shape from the scraps of paper that I have purchased through AliExpress. I almost wanted to pre-cut them into this size, so I'm glad that I have a sticker sheet for that. This is her Wildflower Lace sticker sheet, and I love this because it totally fits my Victorian garden theme. And here we have graphs and ledgers. I don't use this as much as I should, but now that I have them in an easily workable size, I probably will use this more and then take that inspiration into my junk journaling. And I also decided to get some of her days of the week and months because I thought it would be cool to have something that matches. And if I wanted to be a little bit lazy with my setups, um, I can just use these stickers and we have some typewriter dates here and the one thing that really sucks about having a limited number of these sticker sheets is I'm not gonna use this until I know I have a backup so I probably will use this first half very sparingly and then when I get to the second half I'm gonna just buy two or three more of these and then I purchased some of her calligraphy weekdays and months because her calligraphy is so beautiful I just am in awe. <laughs> I used to take calligraphy when I was in middle school and I was so in love with it that I used to write notes to my nerdy friends in, in a calligraphy format and it looked so bad and not even half as nice as this. So again, I am just completely smitten by Serica. I love her work. I am a huge fan and I hope that I am not too embarrassing right now. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Serica, if you're watching, I just love your work. I hope that you and Jaden are enjoying your new house. And thank you so much for doing what you do and inspiring me to start my own YouTube channel and just share my love for journaling. And that
that was it for part two of my huge stationery haul featuring small businesses. I am actually incredibly thrilled by this haul. This is actually the most rewarding purchase I've ever made. I've done a few hauls on my channel now and this was by far the most fun. I feel like I'm going to be doing these small businesses haul more often. I had the best time opening everything and feeling the love and care that went into all of the packaging and in all of the products. I can see the hard work that these people have put in and I'm going to continue doing these small business haul videos. It makes me really happy and I love supporting these people and their art and what they stand for so if you guys do have the time to check them out I'll link all of their shops into the description below again I am not sponsored or affiliated by any of these people I'm just a really huge fan of their work and if you guys haven't already consider subscribing to any one of these youtubers or following them on Etsy or their Instagram because they're just normal people too and I Notice that small businesses have such a hard time keeping up with the pace of everything and the expectations that there are around shipping in general. So I guess just a disclaimer, if you are a little bit more patient with them and more understanding, they will do everything they can to help you out. I've just had a really wonderful experience working with all of these people. So just try your best to give them a little bit of leeway. Most of the time, they're only one person. And with that being said, I'm gonna close out my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys check out these shops and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of all the products and if you have purchased from them what you got and I would love to see how you guys use your stickers or your washi tape or whatever stationary products that you purchase. Okay, that's enough rambling. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.